Building a software as a service solution requires addressing a few key technical challenges. In a set of recorded demonstrations, we will show how to address a number of these technical challenges through a set of architectural patterns exploiting key features in IBM middleware. In this series, there are seven demonstrations using the banking application that show how IBM middleware and configuration techniques can be used to solve key technical challenges for SaaS developers. Hosting multiple tenants from a shared environment requires a high degree of configurability in order to provide each tenant with the branding and customization that they require. In this demo, we will look at the dynamic profiling capability of WebSphere Portlet Factory and how that is used in conjunction with virtual portals to provide tenant customization through configuration rather than custom coding. There are two technical challenges addressed in this demo. One, how can the user interface layer in the multi-tenant application be customized for different tenants through configuration as opposed to writing new application code? And two, how do you enable unique branding for different tenants? By using the WebSphere Portlet Factory Dynamic Profiles feature in conjunction with virtual portals, a developer can create multiple highly customized applications from one code base. Through dynamic profiles, an application developer can define variables in a common profile set that can be configured by each tenant's administrator at runtime. Tenant-specific customizations are created by applying those configured profiles to their portlets at runtime to change the appearance, content, and behavior of the portlet. This demo focuses on the role of the provider administrator. This role is responsible for customizing the tenant user interfaces. In support of this scenario, we created a configuration portlet for the provider administrator role that allows them to configure each tenant's portlets using a single portlet. The configuration portlet code snippet created for this feature is available for download off of the demo page. Within the configuration portlet, we show how the provider administrator role configures the portlet fields account name and account description to show in Bank 1's add account for customer portlet while suppressing the account description from the same portlet for Bank 2. We also show how the account type selections are tailored for each bank by modifying the allowed values. In this demo, we will describe how to implement, manage, and specify profiles for multiple tenant banks. We log in as the provider administrator to view the configurability options that the bank supports. This is the configuration page. Currently, there are three profiles defined, Default Profile, Bank 1 Profile, and Bank 2 Profile. Let's open Bank 1's profile. In a profile, you can configure the basic attributes for a bank. For example, the bank ID, bank name, and endpoints for web services. You can also configure custom attributes for the bank. This is one of the configuration pages for the Customer Management Portlet. You can specify the query conditions you would like to provide to search for the customer management data. You can also configure whether custom attributes are necessary on the customer management portlet. You can hide unnecessary attributes. On the next page, you can rename attributes and set up list box selection values. Later in this demo, you will be shown Bank 1's account type selections as savings and checking, while Bank 2's selections include a third account type of external. Let's log in as the administrator for Bank 1. Here we can see the four query conditions that we set up on the configuration page. Since we didn't hide any of the custom attributes for Bank 1, we see all of the attributes when we add, update, or view the customer data. Now let's configure the profile for Bank 2. Here we set the bank ID and bank name for Bank 2. We will disable search capability by user ID and last name. We'll assume the email and zip code are not applicable to Bank 2 and we'll set them to hide to prevent them from appearing in the user interface. We save the profile. Now let's log in as the administrator for Bank 2. As you can see in the Customer Management Portlet, because we disabled the search by user ID and last name, they do not appear here. Since we set email and zip code to hidden, they do not appear in the portlet. Let's take another look at Bank 1's profile. 
Here we set the account type values to savings and checking. When we log into Bank One as administrator, we have an account view portlet where we can manage customers' account information. When adding account information, a drop down list is used to identify the account type. Here we can see the optional values of savings and checking that we set in the configuration page. We log back into Bank Two as a service provider administrator. We hide the attribute account name and rename the attribute description to branch. We change the optional values for account type to include a third value of external. We log back into Bank 2 as the administrator. We access the account management portlet. Here we can see that the attribute branch is visible instead of description and the account name is no longer visible in the portlet. When we add an account, we can see the value external in the account type drop down list. When new tenants are added, you need to add an additional profile. To do this, you specify the name of the new profile in the input field and press the Create a Profile button. This profile will inherit the values in the default profile. Profiles can also be deleted using this interface. In conclusion, we have demonstrated how to use WebSphere Portlet Factory dynamic profiles to support multi-tenancy. Dynamic profiles can be used to feed different attributes and different configuration parameters to multiple tenants. Please take the time to read the DeveloperWorks article on this topic by clicking on the link here. IBM has innovative resources and programs to help you manage change and become relevant in the software as a service market. Whether you're an ISV, system integrator, or reseller, we can provide education, support, and benefits to help you grow revenue and differentiate yourself. The first step will be to join the SaaS community. You will automatically be kept aware of new SaaS technical benefits and workshops and get the enablement help that you need to transform your application for delivery in the IBM Software as a Service model. Then, as a member of the IBM SaaS community, you can register at the Virtual Innovation Center, VIC, where you will get personalized access to product support and education to help build your software as a service knowledge and skills. As an advanced level member of Partner World, you have the opportunity to gain access to additional marketing and sales support by qualifying for the Software as a Service specialty. For more information, visit our main site at www.ibm.com/partnerworld/sas.